Okay, what did you want to be when you were a kid, Robert? Who, me? Yeah, this is a question. Straight up oh, fucking shit. real, like, celebrity hour here. Uh-oh. Uh, do you know what, right? One mm -hmm. time, I was in primary school. I was 10 years old. And uh, the principal of the school came and got me from the class. And he goes, we have to go out and decide and do this thing. And there was a journalist from the local newspaper. And I gave a story about what I wanted to be when I grew up. Nice. Okay. Do you remember what it was? Uh, a doctor. Wow. A doctor. doctor. Yeah, I, I said doctor. I was on the spot. I was just like, uh, yeah, uh, I'll be a, I want to be a doctor. Now, if you were a doctor, would you wear this? <laughs> yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I mean, I want to put my patients at ease, you know? <laughs> so you didn't become one, I guess. Well, these days I'm a doctor in, um, you know, things that unfortunately you don't get a certificate for. Okay, what are, what are these things? That's really cool. Example, please. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. <laughs> talking about yeah. I wanted to be a, a snowplow driver when I was young. <laughs> oh, fuck, Bob. Did you Asteroids hear that story, and that, shit. The story about that chick, the, the astronaut that went up into space. She was in the space station. Uh -huh. She was going through a fucking divorce. So she decides to log into his bank account. No way she yeah. could do that from space. She did. And she might be the first criminal ever in space. <laughs> space pirates. Check. She that logged we, into her house. That we know yeah, of. Yeah, her husband, she's like, fuck. That we know of. That we know right. of. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of shit All sorts up. of crimes have been committed There's lots space. of banging, they're smoking, they're drinking, they're doing all kinds of drugs. They're air D&D &D in that shit. Totally. I don't believe you can air D&D the space station. Man, I bet, I bet you get could, a lot man. of money for it. You could charge a premium. Oh, you could charge a million bucks. Easy. Imagine the amenities. Uh... Well, they're fucking renting yachts out for, you know, a mills a year. Imagine the amenities. They're one of the amenities. Spacewalk. Yeah. Go space, for a spacewalk. Space ice cream. Wi-Fi. Also, ability to log space into space. your ex's bank account. And from the space is in their your amenities. Going through a messy divorce? Come to the space station. Come to the space station and fucking become a criminal in space. Movie. Oh, that's because Swayze was in it. That's why you loved it. Are you kidding me? You know what? There's there's actually a fucking cereal cereal that exists that that's called Patrick Poop Swayze. Like a Champion. That sounds like something Randy would eat. Poop like hey Randy, champion. did you ever hear of a fucking cereal called Poop Like a Champion? No, I haven't. You well, there is one out there. Really, a real cereal. And it's look, it's got fucking berries and stuff in it. Right there, look. Wow. Oh yeah, because it's yet. so fibrous. Like who would buy that? <laughs> It's very fibrous. Yeah, you eat it and you're you're good. I guess if you're having You'll trouble, poop like pooping. a champion. Turbo poop. Yeah, it's poop so like stuff. a champion, my friends. They should license that for the theme song. <laughs> <for> the <commercial. laughs> we'll keep Randy, on what the pooping. Fuck are you doing? I was just playing a little bit of video games, Julian. Yeah. I must say, one. right? I love Canada for all of its quirks and charms. Tim Hortons, etc. Fuck you, what about Randy? Lucky Charms? I had pizza pizza what the, the other night for the first time. Fuck you. And I didn't shit right for a day and a half. Yeah. Nice. You gotta get So you were not in fact pizza. pooping like a champ. No, I was pooping like a loser. <laughs> pooping like a fire. Like a loser. <laughs> Do you eat Lucky Charms when you're in Ireland? Absolutely. That's every morning. That's for my customers, <laughs> not for friends. There's no food left in everything <laughs> up Yeah, I went into the chest and back and shoulders. That hurts when you do that. <laughs> So he beat the pass out of you? <laughs> I just envisioned someone squeezing Randy around oh, him, and he's going, and he suddenly looks great. Randy, you just stand <laughs> over there. Just get the fuck away from me. Why? Just get the fuck. Stand over there. <laughs> yeah, stink Randy, there's an awful oh, stink man. coming off you. There's an awful stink. I don't stink, do I? So anyway, Jared Butler beat the shit out of me for nine hours. We shot this scene. Jesus. And uh, I went away with a black eye. So he connected a, fu a, a fucked times. up shoulder. Oh, yeah. Well, that sucks. <laughs> to the point where he rang the director of the thing that I was shooting. Like, I was doing this. I was doing a reshoot on that movie. He's so got I was doing such strong hands. That uh, he rang the director to apologize <laughs> for sending me back with a black eye. <laughs> oh, fuck. Bless him. No, he didn't mean to do it, but he's a big juggernaut of a man and he just smashed me to bits. Jeez.